everybody. It's Brooke with Mrs. Coghill Farm. And uh, it's actually, today is afternoon. I always film in the mornings, but today is going to be a little bit different. Why, you may ask? Well, I got something I got to try. I don't know if it's going to work yet, but in order for me to see if it's going to work, I need to put the animals up for the evening. Jason's editing, and uh, we help each other out around here. That's uh, that's something that we do as a couple. If there's ever a time that one of us is busy and we can help the other out, then we do just that. And one of the things is putting animals up at the end of the day or feeding first thing in the morning. So um, I gotta get animals put up and I can't believe Mildred's not already in here. Tipper, what are you doing? Well, we've gotten into a really easy routine here at Cog Hill Farm by putting our animals up in the evening. Um, everybody knows where they're supposed to go by now. Even the donkeys are easy to feed. So Mildred knows that she goes first. She, um, she's usually in this stall waiting for me to put her up, but for some reason, She's not, and I see why. Somebody must have closed the gate, meaning an animal. So I'm getting Mildred's food ready to go in her stall so I can feed the rest of the crew. All right, here comes Mildred. Mildred, things got a little mixed up today, didn't they, girl? All right, goat's out. Come on, Capri, you go out. Y'all go on out. How did the gate get closed? Hmm. Somebody closed the gate. Was it you, Jesse? Did you close the gate? Well, this is what I gotta take care of. Once I get everybody in their stalls and put up for the night, I got a mess to take care of. If you saw the uh, video on the main channel where Jason and I put out a new hay bale, I also went around and I scraped up all the old hay. Well, look at it, it's everywhere. I mean, it's it's in piles. Well, my intentions were to spread that old hay out in some of these areas where there's no grass so the grass could get growing. Guess what? That wouldn't work. One reason was it was too wet. Up underneath this hay was just a just a stinky, nasty mess where it had rained and it's hard. So I got an idea. I got to thinking what the easiest way to grind the hay up would be to move it around. I can't possibly spread it out the way it is. It needs to be chopped up finer, spread it out on all these areas that don't have grass and let the grass come up. So I got to thinking, how could I do that? Well, the tiller's already hooked up on the tractor. So I am going to attempt, after the animals get put in their stalls, to bring the tractor in here and run the tiller over the top of that hay that's sitting in the piles and then see if I can't spread it out. So every day, Mildred goes first and she knows she goes first and the other animals know that they come after Mildred gets finished. So. The easiest way that we've came up with to make things work out is let the donkeys go second. If the donkeys are out of the way, then the goats have no choice but to go in the last stall that's already open. I got a peeker. All right, go in your stall, girl. Come on, honey. Come on, Jessie. Let's go, girls. Come on. She's still learning, but she's getting it. Come on, pretty girl. Come on. That a girl. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, good girl. Come on, Jess. Look up there. Look how good these two are. They eat on opposite sides. They do so well. All right, everybody. Come on, Tipper. Just like that, I have an empty pasture. I have Mildred in her stall. 
goats are all lined up eating. And the slow donkeys are there in their stall at the other end. So I've got this whole open pasture. I can open the gate. I won't have to worry about chasing any animals. We're going to see how this will work. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I tried Googling. I tried to see if a tiller could be used to chop up hay. Well, obviously that's not something that people do very often and I didn't get very good results. But I wanted to show you guys what the tines look like on the back of the tiller and see what you think. Do you think it's gonna work? Or do you think that the, that the hay is just gonna get wound up around the blades? I'm not so sure. Are you being it? I don't know, but we're about to give it a try, okay? I need you to stay over here and take care of things. Make sure nobody gets out of their stalls while I go and see if this will work. Okay, big boy? All right, so there's some rain coming in and I wanted to go, I mean, you can see the sky, it's starting to get dark. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So I wanted to go ahead and get this attempted because if it does work, then I don't care how long it sits. I can spread it out at any time, but I can't chop it up when it's wet, I don't believe. Well, I think it was a success. I can't believe how well it chewed through this hay. It's not chopped into minute fine particles, but it's also not compacted like it was when I got it out of the big pile and put it into the smaller piles. So I'm gonna go around, chop all this hay up. So when it stops raining, I can get it spread out over these places that there, there isn't any grass. And I can guarantee you grass is going to grow there. This is going to be fun. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that this worked. Not only is this old hay, it has seeds mixed in with it. So those seeds are gonna germinate and in turn bring us new lush grass. And I must say, I'm on my way to having the greenest grass in Alabama. Mixed with this manure and the composted down debris, it's gonna be great. All right, Mildred, I'm all finished. You are a good girl, I appreciate you cooperating. Mildred doesn't stay in that stall all night. After she eats, she gets let back out, as do the donkeys, and they come out into this pasture to where they do what they want to at night. However, the goats, they're all in their stall. That's where they sleep, and the sun is starting to go down. So I need to get this tractor out of here so I can in turn let Miss Mildred and her friends back out to play. End of the day. Not the big girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. I know. Sweet baby. All right, let's go let Bessie and Honey out, okay? All right, girls. Y'all ready to come out for the night? Good girls. Came out side by side. Get your buckets. What are you doing? Nobody needs to see inside your nose or your eyes. What are you doing? 
All right, well, y'all got it up close and personal with Miss Honey. She said, I see y'all. Do y'all see me? <laughs> this might be the highlight of the whole video, honey. <laughs> y'all, you should be on this side of it. You done, girl? All right. Okay, so I'm finishing up. I'm just about ready to go home. And I notice Goldie going to the tree where her eggs are. And I think she's fixing to lay. So I'm gonna set my camera up over here. And I'm gonna walk away and see if we can't catch her laying an egg. I think this will be number 13. I just got made a really big fool out of myself as I came over to video Goldie laying her egg. I find it's not a ma'am. It's a man. This is Nugget, not Goldie. Sorry, Nug. How many eggs are over there? Will you show them to me? Bet you will. Except one thing, I left the water running. Jessie's got the zoomies. Jessie said all this hay being chopped up has got her to running. Y'all watch her. Miller said, I don't want to play with you, donkey. hear my water running over as much as I'd like to sit here and watch Jesse run and Mildred Jesse's not done yet neither is Mildred Do y'all play like this every afternoon? Mildred! Maybe Honey and Jessie are about to play. You done, Mildred? Playtime over? We gotta check on the emu eggs and we're headed home, okay? Yeah. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't catch Goldie in the act of laying an egg. But here I am with our main man nugget over here at the nest of eggs. And I must tell you, I do believe there's another egg. Here's the one that I think is new. It's way over here. All the other eggs are right here, but this one's kicked out way over here. So let's count them. Start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. When's she gonna stop, Nugget? I don't know if he's going to sit or not, but I do know that he's not going to sit until she finishes laying, and she's not finished yet. So, y'all just keep on hoping for Mr. Nugget to sit on these eggs, because how fun would it be for a bunch of little golden nuggets running around Cog Hill Farm? All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, video, and I'm very pleased knowing that I can now chop the leftover hay up. I think I've learned something from today. I already had the hay spread out, so that's why I tilled it in the piles that it was. But I think from this point forward, I will till where the hay 
was sitting. Buddy, get ready. She's not done yet. You might have to get a bigger bottom if you're going to sit on all those eggs. What you think? Y'all be good. Thank you.